it's Jody. Today's video is all about green. <laughs> I was challenged on Instagram to do the green challenge. I, I wasn't quite sure what that was, but it's really just using the color green. So I don't really use a lot of green. I'll use it as an accent color in some of my pieces, but I've never actually done a green piece. So we're going to see if it turns out okay. <laughs> so let's go get started. All right, this first canvas is a six by eight. And the pillow I'm using is the Glidden Premium Eggshell. Spread that out just a little. The first green I'm going to be using is a, this little piggy. It's lily pad. And this is mixed. I have this mixed with uh, the, the Bear Josonia Poly because it's a pigment. Actually, I'm just going to pour it on there. It'll be easier. That should be good. Pop those bubbles really cool. That's a big bubble. Alright. And the second green I'm going to use is it's by Color Shift, the Folk Art Col Color Shift Green Flash. And this is mixed with my Glidden Min Wax. I think I showed you the consistency of the last one. I'll show you that in a second. There's this one. Here's the consistency of the, the lily pad that I put down, the first color I put down. And the third one I have is green tea. Oops. Where are you? There we go. It's a color up primary element color. This one might be discontinued, but I think they have other greens on there that are similar. This is the consistency. This is mixed with the Glidden Min Wax. I like the, the subtle sheen that I get with that. And so I, I, uh, I didn't want an in your face sheen for this green. And then the last green, I mixed up a few different colors, actually two different colors, Amsterdam Permanent Green Deep. And there'll be snapshots at the beginning of this video. And then this is Joe Sonia Hooker's Green. And I just put maybe a pea size of this uh, in with this color. When I mix them together. And I mixed this with the, uh, the Glidden Min Wax. It turned out a bit thick, but we're going to roll with it. That should be good. All right, the cell activators I'm going to use. This is Amsterdam's Deep Gold. I'm going to put that down first. 
and then I have Amsterdam Oxide Black. They are both mixed four to one with Australian Floetrol. Well, that reminds me of St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> We're not even there yet. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there's a bit of a glare. I'm not over in my usual spot because I was resining something and um, I'm not able to turn the light off. It's too dark, so hopefully there's not too much of a glare. I think that should be good. I uh, will meet you over at the spinner box. All right, put some more pillow. I've got some edges on this canvas. Unlike the wood ones that I was doing, I like to add a bit more pillow so that it can, so that it can help. <laughs> I can't talk to today. Go over the sides. Ready to move together. Awesome. There's that one. All right, here we go. Ooh, wow. That's really pretty. I love those different shades of green, and I'm not usually a big green person. What are we doing on the middle? Just a bit more. I don't, I don't want to spin it too much more. I like having the, the different shades of green and then this little white kind of in there as well. I've got some movement still in the center. Go over here a little bit. Little spins. Make sure I'm over the sides everywhere. Oh, I like how it's going over the sides too. Just a little bit in the center. All right, I don't want to lose this right here, so I'm going to call that good. That turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I wasn't sure about all the greens together. It's kind of an experiment, but I actually, I really like it. What do you think? All the different sparkles in there too. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you'll see it a little bit better at the end. All right, this one is an eight by 10 that I had scraped a while ago. 
We're going to pour on it. It's dry. Uh, same pillow, the Glidden Premium eggshell. Same colors. Might do the same order. I really liked how that last one came out. I just kind of want to do it on a bigger scale. Spread this pillow out just a little. on. That one. I hope I have enough. I think I should have enough. Oh, that last one again was the, um, the lily pad, this little piggy. This one is the folk art, um, Green flash. And then the color art green tea. I hope I have enough of this. I want to put a little bit more in. This is going to be the last of it. I'm not a huge green person, but I do have a few greens um, that are my favorite. This being one of them, I used this in my Alice series and I just loved it. Um, and I like the the folk art, the green flash. I like, it's kind of like a, a lime green. I love that. Alright. Well, that better be enough because I don't have any more. <laughs> it's done. And then this was, this last one was the mix of the, um, Amsterdam green and the uh, Joe Sonia hookers green. So a little bit more. Same cell activators. I'm going to put the the deep gold down first. I liked how that gold peeked through. And then the Amsterdam the Oxide Black. Getting my little baby cells in the middle like I want. All right, I've got some bigger, bigger cells. I'm not sure if I care for them in the middle, but we might, we might modify them a little bit. Let's see. Maybe good, maybe bad. I don't know yet. Just put a few little somethings in here to break it up. The big blobs.
think that looks good. Let's see how it spins out. I will meet you over at the spinner box. Add a little bit more to the sides. Here we go. Oof. Wow. I know I still got a lot more paint on there I got to get off. I love that green, especially that dark green. like how that flows right there. I don't know if I like it this way or that way, but it almost looks like there's something coming through in there. I haven't decided on the orientation. Maybe like this this way. I think I've got enough paint off. I really like that gold in there. I'm going to have to do something with that though. I don't know if that's white in there or if it's just green coming through. I might have to modify just a little after the fact. Oops. I really like the the colors in there and the, the depth of them. Here's that one. What do you think of this one? Let me know. Let me know. I'm going to get cleaned up and then I'll bring you over for the flyovers. Here's the flyover for the first one. Super sparkly. I really like these screens together. They made they made a nice they're adding depth to it, I think. It's not your average bloom, but I'm not average either. <laughs> <laughs> but I love, I just love the, the flow of it. It's just, it's different. All right. Here's the flyover of the second one. I love all the shimmers in it. Definitely different cells and lacing. I think um, usually when something like this happens, it's because I have too many iridescence. And they kind of, uh, they kind of loosen up a little, but I still dig it. I'm not sure. I just can't place the orientation for this one. I love the colors. I've, <laughs> I've done it both ways. I think my favorite is the little one though. Which one's your favorite? Or do you like neither or both? It's a little bit different. Different than what I'm used to doing. The color palette and also kind of the bloom 
it's very, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. It's very loose. But I'm, I'm very curious to see how they dried. So I will be back once they're dried to show you the results. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the paintings you just saw me do. The first one is definitely my favorite. This was the 6x8. And it dried really nice. Let's see if I pick up some of the sparkles. There is not a nice subtle sheen to it. Let's see if I can back up. Look at the glare from the light coming in. But believe me, it's there. <laughs> and I love the touch of, of gold that's in there as well. It did dry really nice. There's that one. And the second one, well, I'm just going to say it ain't easy being green. <laughs> it's still not my favorite. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just maybe I was thinking in my mind of something something different. It's just a little bit more scattered than I wanted it. But it did dry nicely. I have a couple cracks up here, which tells me I left a little bit too much paint on, but those can be filled in pretty easily. It almost reminds me of like creepy vines or like a, I don't know, something, something to that nature. And I kind of added a little bit more just for that effect. And I might use this as, um, as like a backdrop. I've never embellished my paintings before, but I'm thinking maybe I'll start, you know, with, with something like this or another one I have where I'm not really crazy about it and do something with it so that this is like the backdrop. But it did dry beautifully and there is kind of a, let's see if you can see the sheen in there. So those are those two. What what? Tell me what you think about it. If, do you like them? Yay, nay. They were a little bit more loose in the cell structure, and I love that about the first one. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I had a lot of fun experimenting with the green. I'm not so, I don't want to say afraid of it, um, but I may incorporate more green into my paintings going forward. This was fun to use just green and I, I love challenges uh, like that. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.